It Minutes, sponsored by Sinkler Heating and Cooling, for 24-7 comfort on call. Well, hello, Brad. How are you? Chris, I am a little troubled. Okay. Because our story coincides with a shipping disaster yeah. on the same day, okay? But this is more about the energy used in the shipping industry, okay? So this is a container ship, mm -hmm. which we are all now well familiar Very with. Very familiar with. So there are container ships and then there are just cargo ships that usually carry a lot of raw materials. Sure. You know, it might be petroleum, might be wheat, might be iron ore. Okay. But here's the bottom line. 11 billion tons of cargo is transported by ship annually. Bear in mind, there's only 8 billion people on the planet. Ah. Okay, but that's <laughs> kind of an interesting uh, perspective. Even I can do that math. Okay, now take a look at this. A large cargo ship can use anywhere from a few hundred to a few thousand gallons of fuel a day. The quantity is so large that they don't usually express it in gallons. They express it in tons. So container ships use around 225 tons of fuel per day at 24 knots, their maximum speed. But if they go slower, like down to 18 knots, they can get that number down between 150 and 180 tons of fuel. So, okay. you know, it is one way to save energy. However, when you start thinking about the volume of fuel that these ships are using, there's about, I, I believe it's 23,000 shipping vessels in the sure. ocean at any given time. So it really adds up right. quickly, okay? So the goal is how can we maybe make this whole industry a little bit more environmentally friendly? So let me introduce to you what may be the future of cargo shipping. Okay. Here it is. This ship just spent the last six months on the ocean experimenting, okay? And what you're looking at is wind-assisted propulsion. These two vertical devices, they call them wind wings, and they're big. They stand about 123 feet tall. And the thing about these is they're largely autonomous once they are erected. Okay. They are steel and fiberglass, okay? And they are collapsible and they come down, okay? Really? And remarkably, much of all of this is automated. There's a small control panel in the bridge of the ship and they call it the traffic light system because these things are monitoring the weather at all times. Green light, press the button so I can be raised and I can manipulate myself to, to, trying to, to, catch the wind, to maximize right? yeah. the push from so the it's wind. A, it's, a, it's a sail. Okay, and they, they also can sense when the wind is becoming too strong, red light comes on, I need to come down. It's that simple to operate. Okay. Now are you ready for this? Here's what they found. In near optimum sailing conditions during an open sea voyage, they achieved fuel savings of 11 tons per day. Now, I know you're thinking, well, 255 tons, that's what they're burning a day, they're only saving 11. Well, yeah, but if you've got 23,000 sure. vessels out there, every little bit adds up. And more importantly, the next step, they are going to try three of these wind wings. Maybe they can get a little bit uh -huh. more out. But it's an interesting so, technology. So do they fan out more than... Not much more than what you see than here. what we see. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I like it. Different, but... Yeah, we'll see. where's where they're going to put everything? But <laughs> well, underneath sure. the cargo cargo yeah. ships, especially. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Fred, thanks so much. You Appreciate bet. it. Still the.